we believe in what was sent by God to Jesus, but we believe in the first Bible, you see, not in the Bibles that are made now because the word of the Bible has been changed. And you can see that clearly in the Bible. For example, when I was reading the Bible, you can see that God is described almost as a human being in the Bible. You know, in the Bible, you will read a lot of times God was creating, God was sleeping, God was resting. And we don't have this concept in Islam because for us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the word itself, it's the Almighty, Al-Aziz, the most powerful. So we don't know. We cannot even compare it with something in this world. That's the first logical thing, because if we would worship something that is like us, it would not have the power like, you know, it would have the same power as we have. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Almighty. That's why we have to worship Him. He can make everything possible. And the second logical thing are just the rules, the akhlaq that we need to have as a Muslim. It's so funny when I see that European countries come to Turkey, for example, and they say, you may not steal, you may not drink. Because we as Muslims used to know this 1,400 years ago already. And subhanAllah, look how time has changed that now we have to become educated by people who are not Muslim with our own Islamic rules. Something to think about. What impressed you the most about Islam? First of all, I would say the brotherhood. There is not any religion like Islam where we have a brotherhood. And you can feel this uh, brotherhood thing like in small things and in hard things. For example, the small things, Assalamu alaikum. You wish blessings upon somebody. And it's a general saying, if you go to Asia, Africa, everybody, every Muslim will recognize another Muslim by saying, Assalamu alaikum. So we have this kind of mercy in between us, you see. When you do something bad and I know you're, you're a good brother, I will forgive it you more easily. But when somebody outside our community try to attack us, try to mock with us, try to do bad things to us, you see, this happened so much, especially in 2019. Everybody is like attacking the Muslims. All over the world, we are being attacked. You know, last in Australia, a woman with hijab was attacked. Even in Turkey, sometimes girls with hijab are attacked. But still, we, are, we have this mercy that if somebody is a victim, we take him again in our community and we care, take care for each other. And it's so beautiful. What would you like to say to Christians and atheists? which are watching you right now. Say, first of all, don't be scared to search in another religion. Uh, don't be scared to ask questions. Don't feel too much proud to don't search in other things. Because it's not bad if you don't know it. Even I, before, I was far from the truth and I, I didn't know so much things. But it's especially bad if you don't want to know it. And especially in this world of social media, it's so easy. To, you can watch the, the best scholars in five minutes on your iPhone. These are things that we didn't have before. So it's even easier now to, uh, to search something about Islam and especially don't believe the media always because I was watching the media too before and if I would have followed the media, I think I would not have been here in Turkey, be not maybe only as a Muslim, but just as a human. The media makes uh, people uh, dividing each other. There is like a huge polarization towards each other. And we, even Christians, Muslims, Jews, whatever you come from, wherever you will be, wherever you will go, we used to be like this, you see. I would say search for it and don't be afraid of, uh, of Islam because it will change your life in a very good way, believe me.